Hello everyone and welcome to my guild house in Elder Scrolls Online and today I'm going to talk about my build and the gear of my my bow PvP Nightblade and uh, some of you was wondering uh, more about it so I'm going to go into the the gear I use and uh, how to also initiate in a fight uh, some things like that so uh, let's uh, let's get into it so First of all, uh, we're going to have all the points into stamina here, 64 points, and you can see what kind of uh, stats I have here. We've got uh, over 32,000 stamina, that's with the food, I'm going to show you that in a minute. And we've got over 50% critical strike rating, over 5,000 spell uh, damage. That's uh, not the biggest, uh, in most important stat here, but uh, it is quite important for some of the five set pieces that scale with this. And the uh, penetration, uh, you can you can get more penetration uh, by doing some things. It depends what you want to do. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, we go down here and we get all these buffs. And I think most of you will know why we're getting all of these, but we'll go into that as well. Our, our Munderstone is the Thief, uh, quite an important one I would say. But again, you can choose the Lover if you want more penetration. This is PvP, so penetration is good. You never have too much uh, penetration. And uh, uh, then, uh, yeah, we go. We've got the Lava Foot uh, Soup and Salt Rice. There, that's, that's the food we're going to be using uh, for this. Uh, it's cheap and it just gives us what we need. Anyway, uh, so the gear have a look at that now and here you can see uh, we'll start from the top down because it's the easiest so first of all always in uh, whatever I do if I change the five pieces around whatever I always I'm going to be keeping this helmet the slime core helmet uh, because we are only able to take a one piece on the monster set uh, in most cases here um, because we are using the Oaken Soul ring, which means that we can't take two-piece monster set. But the 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 slime core guys or the the helmet is the best because it gives us uh, the best uh, one one uh, item piece uh, critical chance. There, it's it's the best. If you look at the other pieces, they don't give you this much crit. So the the slime core is the best. There, it doesn't look very nice, but we use our outfit, so it doesn't matter. And then if we go down to our first five-piece set. We have the, the Pillar of Nern set here, and I have this on uh, my armor pieces here, except for the shoulders, of course, and the helmet. And uh, this this is one of the most uh, solid uh, sets you can go for in the game for PvE particularly, but it also works really nice in PvP as well. Uh, some, some, sometimes it's not uh, so great if people can move people can move out of the spike that it it it, it does before it hits but if you hit someone with this it's going to really hurt them really badly and we get some nice stats from it as well on the two three and four piece there we get a little bit of stamina we get a little bit of crit chance we get a little bit of weapon and spell damage uh, you can't go wrong with this set you really cannot and i think i might do a video on how to uh, really farm this up very quickly because it's extremely easy to get if you if you just uh if if you just understand a couple of things i might do a quick video on a run through of that, uh, basically, to uh, it's like a sticker book thing. You, you get everything uh, there. It's, it's super fast to get, and it's really important that uh, you probably get the, uh, uh, the the weapons in Pillar of Nern. Actually, I'm not running them here, but I do have two daggers. I have a bow. I also have some jewelry in the Pillar of Nern. It's very easy to get. Anyway, moving on. Um, the next five set we're going to use that I'm using at the minute. And, and just to, just to let you know, this this builds it can work for many different uh, combinations of five sets. But the one I'm really liking at the minute is the Defiler set. So here you see, um, again you get some weapon and spell damage. You get more crit than you have on the Pillar of Nern. Really nice. And then we, it's uh, the five set is a bit like Pillar. It spawns it spawns something that does damage, basically. It's and and it also stuns as well. The the um, the hunk. The, the hunger that spawns is like an alien, wood alien looking thing and it, it comes up and, and, and it sprays, it spews this poison about and it does damage and it stuns. What's really cool about it as well is you can also uh, hide behind it 
Uh, I think you, I think the enemy can shoot you through it, but you can you can use it to, to confuse confuse the enemy if you're in a close range. It's quite funny. So I have a five set of this, and that is going to be on the bow, on the amulet, on the ring, and on the shoulders, and that gives you the five piece there. And then the last item we have here, of course, is the open soul ring. And um, I think uh, you can see the traits and the the enchantments I've gone for on the armor of course we're going to go for divines across the board as well as stamina on everything so that gives us the best um, crit chance that we can have and ups our stamina quite significantly on the jewelry we're going to go for bloodthirsty on all of them uh, so we do more damage to people that are under 90% HP that's also on the open soul as well uh, so, on the enchantment for the jewellery, we go for multi-effects here. This is the truly superb glyph of physical harm. I know it's a mouthful, that's what that that's one is called, that enchant for the, 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 the jewellery there. And you can see it does uh, a weapon and spell damage and a little bit of recovery as well. We're not so so uh, crazy about recovery here because we're, we're trying to do a build that's just the crazy damage and, and to go for some decent recovery is a really really expensive and uh, compare uh, and it's a, a trade-off against your your damage um, uh, on the weapon we have we have got a poison damage enchantment and we have got nern honed as the 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 trait here this gives us a flat increase to the the weapon damage overall but you could do if you wanted it would be very very viable for for pvp here would be to to put penetration on as well that's also very nice precise if you want a bit more crit but to be honest with you i would not i would not pri prioritize precise i would go for nern honed or the penetration one whatever that's called can't remember um anyway so the main one of the main pieces in this build is the o console ring uh the the thing with this ring is you have to have the high aisles expansion to get this and you have to dig it up using the antiquities system um, you need to get it to, I think it's level 7. Um, it's, it's quite easy to do, but it's a very um, repetitive process. And it can take a little bit of time. But if you just knuckle down, do your antiquities, and, and then you need to go and get the leads for it, put it together. Once you've got it, you can transmute this and have it on all of your characters if you really want to. It only costs 25 of the transmute crystals. Uh, to 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 make another one off because it's the only piece in the set, uh, and you can see here on the one item piece, you, it's got all these buffs. The, the, where all of our buffs are coming from is pretty much exclusively <coughs> from this ring. Um, it's crazy. You just as soon as you go into a battleground, you've got all these buffs. Go start doing damage. Bang bang. There we go. So that's that's the gear. Uh, I do I do like to use some other sets as well. I'll just show you quickly. You can see here scavenging demise. It's a little bit similar to de uh, the the defiler one, except it works a little bit differently. It does damage, doesn't stun them. But this is a really powerful set. I'm going to be trying this out a lot uh, soon. And you can see as as I said earlier, I've got a uh, pillar of Nern on that on the other because it is such a, a really important set to have in the game. Like. I've got it on every piece pretty much apart from the helmet. Um, Reliquins there, that's for PvE, this stuff. Let's ignore that. Um, I'm also trying um, tow rugs as well, and I've got that on the, the weapon, the, the, the jewelry, and, and, uh, and the shoulders. This is, this is all set to go, it's just this could do with an upgrade into Epic. But uh, the good thing about tow rugs is it is when, when you take advantage of the five item set. It is very powerful. The damage is straight up. Uh, you are getting 45% in increased uh, damage from your enchantment, and it it makes it so instead of it being four seconds every four seconds you can use it, it's more like 2.7 seconds, something like that. Every every, every uh, now and then your enchantment will proc, or this reduces that time. Um, the bad thing about it is it gives you armor and health, which is not particularly uh what's the the style of a a hard hitting um insta kill build is going for but i kind of see that as the the devs 
uh, not wanting to make this too overpowered because that upfront damage from the five piece there, you, you don't. If I see something like that, I always want to try and give it a go because upfront damage like that is just crazy. Um, the only downside to it as well, also in practicality with using it, is that you need to use your um, your attack, your light or heavy attack, to actually to to get it to proc, uh, and that is a problem if you are uh, really far away. Because when you initiate, you you will use the snipe, and that is not going to proc the five piece. So that's that's the, a downside. So it, if you want to do big damage with that, you have to be uh, medium range, so you can use your light or heavy attack. That's it <coughs> for the gear. Uh, nothing else to say about that. We'll have a look at the uh, we'll have a look at the abilities quickly because um, they're also, of course, very important. So we have uh, Resolving Vigor, and that is in the Assault Tree in Alliance War. It's very easy to get, and it is basically a heal. It's an easy access heal for all classes, all, all types of players. And we take the, the morph that gives us more healing to ourselves. Uh, this, this is, for me, um, one of the abilities that you can't do without. A very, very important uh, piece here. And then lastly, the shadowy uh, disguise here. This is also very important. This it allows us to go inv invisible and uh, the enemy cannot see us. And we can either run away or use the uh, the, the advantage of, of the passive to, to get a critical strike uh, initiate in a fight. And you can you can pop it and then you can go into crouch mode and just stay hidden indefinitely as long as, long as no one walks on top of you or there's another disguised person goes near you or whatever. Um, so those are really important for this. Um, of course, another really important one for this build is going to be the lethal arrow. This is our bread and butter. This is our main spammable move. Uh, when you initiate a fight from long range, this is all you're going to be using. You're just going to be spamming this because it is the ability that has the longest range. Nothing else is going to be able to hit the opponents except for this at a certain range. So you can spam this. You can You can do that indefinitely if you want to if your team's in the fight there you can give them loads of support with by dishing out loads of damage with this from long 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 way uh, next we have um these are probably both flex spots to be honest with you i'll explain why in a little bit but uh, just quickly we've got magnum shot it is a very powerful knockback uh, gives you uh, distance on the enemy and does decent damage in fact you can go light attack snipe magnum shot in that order or heavy attack uh, snipe. I, when I say snipe, I mean lethal arrow uh, into magnum shot, and it does a mega amount of damage. If they're stunned, you haven't finished them off. You can always use your bow proc here, or just into another light attack or snipe or whatever. Um, but uh, the, the merciless resolve always keep this up. When it's at five stacks, it gives you uh, more damage, and of course you can you can uh, throw it at a uh, enemy player to to uh, do mega amounts of damage to them. But these two you could swap out if you wanted. What I find very uh, annoying sometimes is the rogue assassins. Um, you can't can't do much about them. To uh, if you if you get them really low and then they go disappear. Or well, what you might want to do is try and uh, use instead a, another bow ability called endless hail. Uh, it's an area of effect you can put that on the floor, or you can use acid spray. Uh, that will reveal them if you know they're in front of you. Uh, that's for invisible targets, so yeah, these two slots you can play about with your style and uh, sometimes I even forget to, to pop Merciless Resolve and have it buffing me and I'm still getting killed, so it, it tells you right there that that is a flex slot of some sorts, but really you're a Nightblade, you should be using this in all of your builds, unless you're tanking for or healing for some reason. Um, the last slot is the ultimate. Again, this is a flex slot, but this move seems to be the one that serves me the best because it just gives you survivability and that you don't have a lot of as a night blade. It gives you a mega massive shield. You can use it in many ways. You can <clears throat> you can go into a fight, initiate, and pop this on uh, straight away because it lasts a long time, like 30 seconds. It's a big shield and it gives it to all of your group members as well. Um, if you're at 50% or lower HP, you can pop this if you're in a one-on-one one -on -one fight. The, en the enemy that you're fighting might be go for a clutch hit on you um, and that might work in your favour because they, they hit your shield instead then you're able to finish them off with a snipe or, or, or whatever. Um, 
yeah so that's that that's all there is to it you uh, uh, again it's a flex lot you could use toxic barrage if you wanted to i don't like to use it i moved away from it very early i have used it a lot or you could even use of course incapacitating strides you can't go wrong with that but for me barrier is the way i love it powerful that's pretty much it to be honest with you and uh, i'm sure i've forgotten some stuff but uh, yeah, potions, I'm using the Tristat potions, everyone uses that, of course, it's really, uh, really powerful potion to use, and, um, yeah, I think that's it, I was going to show you, I'm going to show you quickly, actually, what this uh, set looks like, uh, without an outfit on, it looks like this, pretty horrible, in my opinion, I don't like it at all, so that's why I like to I like to have my outfit on there. And uh, if anyone's interested, I'll do I'll do a video on the outfit on the outfits and and this one that I use as well. But uh, if you're interested, I will I'll do a video on that. It looks quite cool, I think. It's nice that they have the outfits because some of the sets just don't look very nice at all. Another thing I forgot to mention as well, although this isn't relevant for battlegrounds, I'm still going to cover it because someone might be interested in this outside the battlegrounds. We've got the champion points. I'll just go for those quickly. So we're in a warfare tree here. We're going to go into extended might. Uh, take piercing uh, all the way if you can. Or at least just the first 10 points to get access to weapons expert for an extra 20% damage. Uh, cap that out and slot that. And then the other two main ones. Deadly aim up to 50. Extra 6% damage there with single target abilities. Very, very good. Also uh, we're going to go master at arms as well for an extra 6% uh, damage again as well uh, and then the last one uh, ruffle strikes here helps uh, with the with the sets that we use as well that scale off weapon and spell damage but you could go for uh, fighting uh, finesse as well that's a pretty nice one or backstab it just depends what uh, the situation is so they're the four ones I take there also obviously going into uh, precision here and then uh, if you can do afterwards take tireless uh, discipline and then the other the other two trees the green one don't really want to cover it but that's that's what i'm using this is my main character so i do meticulous disassembly and and yeah just the the gathering stuff really uh steve's blessing just makes you move faster in dungeons when you're killing bears and stuff like that getting around is really nice slot all those um i've missed out some of these ones around here which some people might find really useful just to make things cheaper get your your potions going for longer and all that stuff and your, your food but uh, in the red tree uh, here nothing special going on here. I just take the the top uh, left three ones here just for just for uh, increasing basic uh, survivability and, and sustain and then I also take bloody renewal as well uh, It just helps when you're clearing um, tr Trash mobs to to get your stamina back again uh, So wild chaser we've got points in haste. It just makes you go f uh, run faster anyway, thanks for watching and Please give uh, the video a like and uh, subscribe if you if you got anything out of it. And I'm going to do more. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.